Good day everyone, this is Sir Fred and welcome to another video lesson tutorial. Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Sa video ng ito ay aking ituturo sa inyo kung ano nga ba ang conditional probability. Sa puntong ito, ayatin mo nang alamin ang mga objectives ng lesson na ito. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to solve problems involving conditional probability. Bilang pagsisimula ay atin mo nang alamin kung ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng conditional probability. Pag sinabi natin conditional probability, it is the probability of an event occurring given that another event has already occurred. So to compute for this uh, particular probability, so we have N, intersection of A and B, all over N of A. So dito class, no? The N stands for the total number no, of outcomes in intersections of A and B all over the total number of outcomes in A. Given that A is the first event no, and B is the second event. So, gagamitin natin ito sa pagsosolve ng mga problems involving conditional probability. At this moment, let us begin solving conditional probability in this particular problem. So, 100 students go to a leadership camp. After grouping, the number of boys and girls in each group are as follows. So, makikita natin dito class, meron tayong table that represents the total number of students or in terms of boys and girls in each color. And we have here a total which is equal to 100. So, we have certain problems that we need to compute and solve after this particular table. So first one, if the student is chosen at random from this 100 students to give a self-introduction, find the probability that a student from a blue group is chosen. So nakikita nyo class, no? meron tayong condition. Out of 100 students, so how many students from a blue group is chosen? So ilan po ba ang total number of students sa blue group? So that is 25 out of 100. So that is the probability. In lowest term, that is 1 over 4 or 0 0.25 and in percent, that is equal to 25%. In our second problem, find the probability that a girl student from the purple group is chosen. So we need to strictly follow the conditions. A probability of a girl student so that from a purple group, so that is 12, no? out of 100 so in getting its probability so that is 12 over 100 that is equal to 3 over 25 and in lowest term that is equal to uh 12 over 100 is equal to 3 over 25 in lowest term that is also the same as 0 0.12 or 12 percent in our next problem the probability of that the boy student is chosen a boy student is chosen so from the total which is 100, 60 of them are boys. So that is 60 out of 100. So the lowest term, that is 3 over 5. That is also equal to 0 0.60 or 60%. And now, from the, uh, from the given table, find the probability that from the blue group chosen, given that the student is a boy. So again, from the blue group chosen, given that the student is a boy no so we have from the blue group no we have 18 no 18 boys out of 60 which is the total number of boys in this particular uh, table so that is 18 over 60 and lowest term that is equal to 3 over 10 so yung mga kasunod that is equivalent equivalent po in terms of decimal and percent at nasa last problem natin no, from the green group that is chosen, given that the student is a girl. So, from the green group, so that is 10, no, which is the girl out of 40. So, yung condition kasi natin, class, no, 
this toilet is a girl, wala dapat tayong mapiling boy. So, ang kukunin natin is 40. So, that's 10 over 40 or equal sa 1 over 4. That is also equal to 0 0.25 or 25%. In our second table, a survey of students to determine if they had a pierced ear was given. The results are summarized in the table below. Meron tayong male, female, pierced, not pierced, and total. If one person is selected at random, find the probability that the person is a female. So that is two, uh, 320 over 500. Okay? So, yung total ng female ang kukunin natin, and in lowest term, that is equal to 16 over 25. A person is pierced. So, pierced, that is 324 over 500. No? A person is a pierced male, so that is 36 out of 500. In lowest term, that is equal to 9 over 125. Next is the person is a male, given the, that they are not pierced. So, ang naunang condition class is a male. So, titingin tayo doon, no? Given that they are not pierced. So, we have 144, no? So, nasa column tayo, not pierced over 176. In novice term, that is equal to 9 over 11. A person is a female, no? Given that they are pierced. So, that is 288, no? Over 324. So, titingin tayo sa column ng pierced po. So, in lowest term, that is equal to 8 over 9. So, that's how we compute for probability given a table in certain conditions. In this particular slide, so consider this next problem. You roll one six-sided die. What is the probability of getting 3 given that you know that the number is odd? So, in this problem, yung ating first event is the event that the number is odd. So, kung bibilangin natin yung class sa ating 6-sided die, meron tayong 1, 3, and 5. And from this number that is odd, you are sure that the probability of getting 3 is only 3 or equal to 1. So, meron po bang intersection or common sa dalawang events? Yun po yung A intersection B natin. So, that is equal to 3. So, get, uh, using the formula that we have under conditional probability, so we have the intersection of the two events, which is 3. So, meron lang po tayo 1 over. So, first event natin, we're in the event that the number is odd is 3. So, mer meron tayo 1, 3, and 5. Bilangin lang natin yung class, so that is equal to 3 in the denominator. So, since naka lowest term na siya, so pwede natin siya i-convert into decimal or even into percent. So, therefore, the probability... Getting 3, given that you know that the number is odd, is 1 over 3. And now, consider this next problem. One card is selected from a deck of cards. Find the probability that the card is a spade, given that it is red. So, ang ating first event dito class is getting a red card, no? which is equal to 26. No? Ang second event natin, knowing that it's a red, you, uh, you are getting the probability that it is a spade. So, meron din tayong 13 outcomes doon. So, meron po bang common that is a red and a spade? So, meron tayong 0 or intersection niya ay 0. So, gamit your formula, so that is 0 over 26. So, 0 over 26 is equal to 0. So, that's the probability of getting a spade given that it is a red card. Okay? So now, sa example number 5, one card is selected from a deck of cards. Find the probability that the card is a 4 given that it is a black. Okay, meron tayong condition dito class na no, we need to get first, no? The probability of the outcomes that the card to be drawn is black and afterwards, no, condition that it is a 4. So yung ating first event is getting a black card. So that is equal to 26, no? Getting a 4 is equal to a uh, 4. So, may chances po ba or may intersection po ba that a black and a 4 will come out? So, meron tayong dalawa. No? So, using the formula, so we have 2 over 26. And in lowest term, that is equal to 1 over 13. And now, consider this particular problem. One card is selected from a deck of cards. Find the probability that the card is hard given that it is not black. So, again... Gamit po yung ating chances. So, of course, a card is not black. Meron tayong 
26 cards, no? Preferably, yun po ay red cards, no? And now, getting a heart. So, may lang, ilang po bang hearts sa ating deck of cards? So, meron tayong 13. And definitely, is there any chances that both will come out? Meron tayong intersection ng dalawang event that is equal to 13. A heart and a red card. So, gamit yung formula. So, that is 13 over 26, no? 13 over 26 in lowest term, that is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 or equal to 50%. So, that's how we compute, no? For probability or for conditional probability given some problems like this. Okay, so now let's go to this problem. The probability that Ethan studies and passes his math test is equal to 0.45. If the probability that he studies is 0.8, what is the probability that he passes the math test given that he studied? So in this particular problem, no, we have the first event knowing that he studies. What is the probability? So that is 0.8. And the intersection of the two events is present on the first statement. So that is equal to 0.45. So using the formula, so we have 0.45 over 0.8. So that is equivalent to 0.5625 or 56.25%. So that's the probability that he passes the math test given that he studied. And now, consider this problem. At a basketball game, 80% of the fans cheered for Team A. In the same crowd, 20% of the fans were waving banners and cheering for Team A. What is the probability that a fan wave a banner given that, he, that the fan cheered for Team A? So in this particular problem class, so of course, we have the first event we're in, no? Uh, fans cheer for Team A, so that is 80%. And of course, in the same crowd, no waving banners and cheering for the same team, we have 20%. So using the formula, we have 20% over 80%. So in decimal, that is equal to 0 0.2 over 0 0.8 or equal to 1 fourth. 0 0.25 is its, uh, is its equivalent as well as 25%. So in our next problem, the probability that Janice smokes is 3 over 10. The probability that she smokes and develops lung cancer is 4 over 15. Find the probability that Janice develops lung cancer given that she smokes. So, of course, the first event now here is the probability that uh, she smokes. So, that's 3 over 10. And once she smokes and develops lung cancer, that's the intersection. That's 4 over 15. So, using the formula, so we have 4 over 15 over 3 over 10. So, get the reciprocal of the denominator. So, that is 4 over 10 times 10 over 3 or equal to 8 over 9 in lowest term. The equivalent, that is equal to 0 0.8888 or approximately equal to 89%. And now, for our last set of problems under conditional probability, a math teacher gave her class 2 test. 25% of the class passed both tests and 42% of the class passed the first test. What percent of those who passed the first test also passed the second test? So again, meron tayo ditong dalawang test na binigay si teacher. Okay? So now, the first event is passing the first test. Okay? So that is 42%. And wants to get uh, uh, the intersection, no? Wherein the students pass both tests is equal to 25%. So using the formula, we have 25% over 42%. That is equal to 0 0.25 over 0 0.42. Or equivalent, that is equal to 60%. And now, in our last problem, the probability that it is Monday and that the student is absent is 0 0.03. Since there are 5 school days in a week, the probability that it is Monday is 0 0.2. What's the probability that the student is absent given that today is Monday? So again, in this particular problem, so we have A, which is equal to 0 0.2, no? the probability that today is Monday. And of course, the probability that student is absent and today is Monday is 0 0.03. So using the formula, we have 0 0.03 over 0 0.2. That is equal to 0 0.15 or equal to 15%.
At dyan natatapos ang ating video lesson sa araw na ito. Maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!